Hello, Huawei Path experts. Welcome to the Huawei Path Dot Learner channel. So, thank you very much for subscribe. If you not yet subscribe, please subscribe. Today, we will see the Huawei Path apps. So, how can we retrieve the all the services from the system to the Huawei Path apps? in the cloud okay so let us see so what we will do here so normally if you just type the mstsc uh, uh, see here services services dot services dot msc it will services dot msc it will open the services all the services see here this is the services okay this is all the services which is running in the system so we will access these things from the servers okay services bot so first we will create a one small ui path process we will configure that process into the orchestrator and we will design a ui path app by using the ui path app studio into the cloud from from the cloud we will click on the button from the ui path uh, you, you have the app it will retrieve the all the processes from my system that means system the where the bot is running and it will display into the one list so then if we select the any item from the list it will show the selected item let us see so what we need just a simple thing what we need mm, out underscore service list so what it is basically this this i out underscore service list is a list of strings we will just simply create a a list of system dot collections dot gener generic dot list okay this list of what strings so first of all take a one assign operator okay why we need this as an operator to just initialize that list so what is that out list out underscore uh, service list equal to new list of which list it is of of string okay so once we uh, assign so we will just use the a uh, powershell command invoke powershell activity to use the just simply get hyphen service this is a commandlet okay get hyphen service this is a commandlet and what we have to do here instead of selecting the ps object we can select the system dot service process service controller okay so this is a controller so this will give the a list of controllers okay let us uh, let us create a uh, 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 an object uh, what we can do so we will object like a uh, yes controls otherwise service list this is the collection of the service controller objects okay so what we can just do the uh, open the for each activity to loop each and every item from the uh, service list services is basically the a list of what is that so this one system dot this one right uh, use the each and everything is a service so okay so now here we'll just simply add uh, give them a small message box and uh, display the things so whether it will display or not service dot service uh, you see service name what is the service type these things and all it will it will give okay so basically it will give the all the services which is running in my system this system and each and every service name you can get the service name service description service status what is the whether that is running or not see here these are the, the, they're all getting the, all the service names okay let us stop this one and we will add the, all the things to the our out service list that is a collection okay so let me remove this message box and add this into the collection okay so that collection is add to collection so what is a collection type that is a string what is the collection name collection name is a out underscore out underscore service 
So what is the, uh, this name? So this name, what we can do here? So we can simply do like a service dot status. First, we will display the status so in running or uh, uh, give the some spaces or give the hyphen uh, service. There is a running or stopped or right. So disable this things and all service name. So these are all the two things. Okay, so here I'm just converting this into the two string, and uh, that's it. Okay, so we're adding the all the things to the collection. That's it. So, okay, that's it. So the uh, this is a, this should be an output variable. Make sure that this is the output variable. So where we are getting the this value from the UA path forms. So just publish the service bot. This a service bot is a a a. a package a process which will retrieve the all the services let's go to the uh, 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 the, the orchestrator and see whether you have a package or not so if is if you have a package then simply what you can do simply go to the processes and click on the create a new process select the your service bot which you just uh, created select the environment and click on the create so what is that here so we have a process ready okay so let's go to the ui path uh, home and click on the apps once you click on the apps so you can simply uh, click on the create new give the service i service app okay i service app or win service window service app so this window service once you create a, a app so it will show you a layout by default layout so the first thing is what you can do you can just simply uh, create a process from this okay so click on this and there is a process click on the process so by default it is select the uh, the choose in the uh, the tenant and in the default folder so it's connected to the your orchestrator and uh, it will list out all the processes. See here, output variable. In the list, select this one, okay? So now our, our toolbar has the process and main page. Main page and layout container. So in the containers, what we can do, we can just simply add, add a new button. And uh, that button styles, you can just apply like this. And you can just apply like a red button or anything, okay? And you can have a lot of uh, settings like a what is the font size, these things and all the border, right? So you can select, and uh, after that, so change the button name like a get services. And uh, if you want to see the icons, you can just simply go to the icons and uh, select the some services icon. And uh, if you want to change the fonts, fonts change the font also here you have a some font font uh, font style and uh, font size oh my god okay if you want to give the bold yeah bold it like these things and all you can give okay now so the next thing is i add a another control under the display you have a list just drag the list here drag the list here okay so this list, this list also you can just simply style, change the styles and uh, uh, what is the size, just give the size uh, like a height is like a 600 I am giving uh, 400 and uh, width like a so 550 okay so or give the 650 that's it okay so we have a we have a uh, this one and in the general so what is a you can bind that so just what you want to bind selected value is this one and uh, list list value expand this our process you have a arguments here just drag the output argument to this one to to bind the all the values to this list and also if you want to mention the column names you can mention the column names otherwise you can go to the uh, selected value once you select any value so you can create it will store into that particular va variable so i'm just uh, creating a one variable like a so selected service okay 
selected service just drag and drop that selected service here so and uh, uh, that's it okay so and what we can do we can just simply add a new label here so just to display this is a selected service okay so this is a selected service and now just add a one more label here so this is a selected service so service name and this service name so what you can bind so you can bind this one okay service name and if you want to change the styles you can change the styles like a so bold italic these things and all and uh, okay that's it so after that so the only thing is the pending get services this button once your user click on this button then only that robot has to run and retrieve all the information of the all the services and load here okay so once the user select any service here this label should update with the selector service that's that's uh, our agenda here general click on the events and uh, for the button okay click on the create a rule uh, select the start process here start your process just drag and drop this process that's it uh, just simply click the preview we will see whether it is working fine or not so here our process body is also running uh, available here so what I'm just doing click on the get service so and see here process bot will execute okay what happened uh, it is process bot it is not executing yeah it is doing something okay yeah service bot sorry it's not process but service bot see service bot is executing and it will execute and retrieve the all the information and fill the information in the uh, ui path app list perfect see here so all the services all the services with the status whether it is running or stopped these all the things it will it came here okay so got it so once i select anything see the selector service so you can select the list anything so automatically this is like a binding the value immediately whatever the service you are selecting whatever the item is you are selecting from the list this item is displaying into that particular label okay so that's it about this today's demo so very beautiful get service app thank you very much for watching thanks please subscribe my channel thanks for sharing so please uh, comment it out okay thank you bye bye